So why don't we just try now, Mark, before I give you any, any more advice. We're just going to take one note. Okay. Okay. And we're going to see how well you can make just one note sound. Okay. Because if you can make one note sound really good, yeah. it's a lot easier to make two notes sound good, or three, or four, or you know, a thousand for that matter. But if we can't make one note sound really good, making two notes sound good is pretty much never going to happen. <laughs> making three notes sound good, your chances are even less. And making a thousand, you just sound like you're just playing notes at that point. So when you play with the back of track, you can make your own note. Um, but what I want you to focus on is just, again, all the little phrasing things you can do, so how you can bend strings, how you can apply vibrato, how you can slide, how we can integrate those together as well. Okay, so when Dan was on the backing track, I just want you to pick a note in the key, and that's what I'm going to focus on. So why don't you watch Dan take a single note, and whatever note of his choosing, and watch him note the shit out of it. Basically, a single note with ornaments. It's yes. not really. You technically heard other frequencies being played, but it's really a single note with ornaments. It's not two or three notes. Yeah. There. You understand the difference there? Yes, I do. Yeah, so all of this stuff where I'm going. See. Okay. All of that stuff, like Tom has to say, is I'm really just thinking about different ways to just make this note sound cool. So I'm not thinking about oh, I'm playing 14, 13, 10. Exactly. And a slide That's up. My point. They're ornaments of one note. So the focus is around the one note. Yeah. yeah. Dangle a little stuff before. Yeah, put earrings on that pin. So one cool one we can do is. Uh, what's there I'm doing? We're going 14, 15. Bend up. Right. And there's also delayed vibrato on this. We have the bend up. We come back down. Delayed vibrato. Come back down. There you go. Delayed the vibrato in this case even more. You're bending up too high. They have to bend down. Make them wait for it. Yeah. You should, when that chord changes, come down on the note, but don't hit the vibrato until beat two or three. Be on it. But it's got to be smoother, okay? What you're doing is this. You're doing, uh, here's your 14, here's your 15, then you're 14, and you're coming up here, and then you're holding it, and then you're like, oh shit, the chord's changing, and then you're down here, and then you're doing bare bottom. Okay. okay? This, there has to be an arc here, okay? Okay, hold on. This, this is, this is the problem. Is that there's not a nice arc here on that chord change. The chord change is right there. Okay, you're just, you're just, oh shit, and then you're going down. It doesn't sound, exp it doesn't sound natural. <laughs> That vibrato might be a little bit aggressive in this particular context. Okay, what you just did now was you made the arc too early.
pay attention for Mark is when you hear the ask card. That was perfect. Got one more time for you. Just, just, just listen how fucking awesome that sounds. That's fucking dripping, dude. Better. Better on the arc. Why don't you, why don't you guys try and play it together? Okay. So try you play it and, and try and match it. play a harmony to that, a third higher, you just do the same thing. Again. That was good. The verbatos don't match yet, but the curves are starting to match. Does that fucking sound good? 